Alright guys, and welcome back. Now, we can't go back home. So Would it not have been better to have destroyed ourselves gloriously in battle, rather than perpetuate this false existence? What do you- Yes. The answer is yes. Boss, I think someone left the smart off that smart bomb. I Air wouldn't expect much conversation out of him. I wouldn't expect much conversation out of him. Okay. It's kind of strange, but anyway. Now... I'm not going to threaten him. Fine, fine. Put me down for another megacycle. I need to see what he's offering before I can make a trade. He's a robot dragging chalk along the ground, boss. I wouldn't expect much conversation. Uh, of course. The Let me see what you're I'll take a look. It would have to be something I have, wouldn't it? I said something shiny, not something that shines. Well, it was a good guess, you have to admit. I'm not going to try. I don't deal in junk, Tyrant. That's not what it looks like from here. <laughs> Good one, Crispin. Did you even listen to what I had? It's too valuable. Yeah, I figured. So... So what am I missing? Anyone home? Anyone home? Better just to leave it alone. I have to be missing something. Unless I can have a conversation. Slag off. That's Damn, crazy. Cut me off, will ya? I am unsure. I have no idea what. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Hey Armstrong, top me off, will ya? I'm not here to steal parts. enough to try that. Crispin, can you fly around the cable and push it off the street? Uh, but didn't you just say it's too dangerous to get close to it? I'm giving you a chance to impress her, Crispin. Just fly up high enough that you don't get close to the sparks. Fine. Wow. Yay! <laughs> Alright, Crispin! Let me check time. Okay. Excuse me. Can't you see I'm working? I've said it before, but I'll say it again. You do know this ship is never gonna fly again, right? 
You're right about that. This old airing bus can hardly fly to begin with. Still, there might be some parts here that Metromine can use to get another bus up and running. Anyway, what do you want? Hey, boss, ask him about his helper. Uh, what, happened? what happened here? What does it look like? The herring bus's motor gave out and it crashed into the only branch leading from Main Street to the rest of the city center. Was anyone on board? Sure, but they've already been salvaged. Salvaged? Not repaired? Can't repair without parts. You can't get parts without salvage. What about building new parts? Yeah, me and what factory? Look, everyone wants to spot bugs, but no one wants to write code. You got a better way to run a city? Go out and build one. Otherwise, get with the program. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has big claws and shoots lasers. It... Scraper. After the last big cave-in, the two of us worked together on trying to fix the blue line. It's on the simple side, but a hard worker. What about him? He took something of mine. Yeah, salvaged it, probably. That's what most of us do for Metromine these days. Stole it. Hey, you say router, I say router. Anyway, not my problem. Where can I find Scraper? Do I look like a tour guide? Piece of advice for you. Don't mess with the code if you can't handle the glitches. Very profound. Ah, I think I'm gonna use that. I am gonna use that someday, guys. My friend is curious about your helper. Ah, uh, she's just a sidekick factor build. Thousands of them rolled off the assembly line back in the day, but she's probably the only one left. Really not much more than a floating lantern, and headlamps are a lot cheaper. She says you're not much more than a floating plasma torch. She's right. <laughs> you mentioned Metromind. Yeah, sure. She's in charge of this big circuit board we call Metropole. What can you tell me about her? What do I look like? The information kiosk? I want to know what I think. Metromind is the best thing that ever happened in this place. Really? Really. You, me, all these other machines grinding about. We're just tools in the toolbox. But Metromind, she's got the master plan. Progress. Got a nice ring to it, too. So is part of the master plan crashing buses into roads? Look, there's plenty of rust to go around, but Metromind's the only one scrubbing. Not her fault that some of the metal's too far gone. It looks to me like you're the one scrubbing, not Metromind. Like I said, I'm just a tool in the box. Now, I gotta get back to work. You again? What do you want? When will the bridge be passable? Soon? Well, seeing how the last remaining Airbus just crashed, I'd say opening the bridge to pedestrian traffic. So I'd say something on the order of a month, give or take. A month? Give or take. And there's no other way off Main Street? Not unless you got a jetpack hiding under that jacket. Well, at least that narrows our options down, boss. Do you know where I can find a power source? If I did, I'd have salvaged it myself and brought it to the tower. Since you're so close to her, do you know how I can talk to Metromind? Ha! <laughs> talk to Metromind. Look, Metromind has an entire city to run, but her eyes and ears are everywhere. If she wants to talk to you, she will. Goodbye. Uh huh. Hey, Crispin, you want to say anything to your little friend? Hey, Crispin, why don't you go talk to her? What? No way, boss. She's way out of my league. <laughs> She's a floating lamp, Crispin. You've never had any trouble with lamps before. Well, I've never had to talk to one before, boss. Just knock them off ledges. I've got no practice. Okay. Well, at least we're getting somewhere. Waiting area. Oh, jeez. Ahoy, my dear friend. Oswald Factorville, at your service. It's no more your dear friend than Rex as your creation, you besotted gear oiler. 
Oh, don't mind Cornelius. He's been bitter since the first great rolling brownout. Better? Better? I'll show you better, you backbiting bot snatcher. I think I like these guys, boss. <laughs> okay. What's in that building? Why, Arbiter's Court, of course. Why else would we be here? I need to see Arbiter. We all do, my dear friend. But the courthouse is locked, and first come, first serve. Why are you waiting in line? Justice! I'm here for justice! To prove that I, Cornelius Factorbuild, created this marvelous machine, Rex. Rex, Cornelius built. Ignore him, my dear friend. Candidly, he is 1023 flops short of a kilo if you catch my drift. The machine's name is Osborne Built. Rex Osborne Built. This is over a name? Why not just let Rex decide? Ridiculous! Oh, this is about principle. This is about pride. So, uh, boss? Would you fight over me like this? You could call yourself Crispin Crispian for all I care. <laughs> as long as you still pull things off ledges for me, that is. Glad to know I'm loved. <laughs> Wait, did I get something? Oh, check that in a bit. How are you going to decide who gets Rex? For the law, fool. The law. Please excuse my brother. He can barely remember Pi to the 23rd digit, let alone his manners. For? I arrest my case. Suffice it to say, chap, we await the reopening of the courthouse. Or more precisely, we await a summons from Arbiter who will decide our case. Who will say whose contribution was more important? Who will say, in fact, that my contribution was more important? Could someone else judge your case? Of whom were you thinking? Metro Mind, perhaps? Authoritative to be sure, but I fear she would claim Rex for the good of all. And since the subway schemer... He means Metro Mind. Shut down our builder factor. He cannot help either. What about Horatio? Who? Me. And why should we listen to you? I've built a robot before, and I have no stake in this. Yes, yes, well and good, but this is a matter of law and logic. A bit harder than banging together a tin can like your companion. How can we know your reasoning is sound? Hmm. Uh, okay, I'm gonna cut off here guys because this might be a long conversation. So thanks for watching everyone and tune in to the next video